I, I can't see, man. These diamonds. Good Lord, man. Can you tuck some of them away? God dang. <laughs> Tory Lanez, what's up, baby? What's good? Chris Go Kid Blog Party, man. We over here backstage. Jules, tell them what's good. What is good? All right, so we've, uh, man, first of all, this is the first time we actually got to talk. You know what I mean? I know, I know we yeah. met at the uh, a Hennessy party in Dallas for mm -hmm. the first time, and we got a lot of people in common. And, uh, you know, we didn't really get to talk about the, the album. I think oh, Say It was so just good. still out at that point. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now we over here. You got Love Out. The album I told you was officially dropped. Congratulations Thank on that. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, oh, man. I mean, what, what, there's so many things I want to know. But this, uh, let's just talk about the album right quick, though. Because no features on it. And this is probably one of the uh, uh, best albums that has dropped in a very long time. I don't want to just definitely. say this year, man, because I appreciate the album. And I, I always appreciate when an artist drops and they don't depend on features. And I know that was one thing that was very important to you was yeah. that I don't want nobody else on it. Yeah, no, nah, it wasn't about that. You know, it was it was more of a growth with, you know, me and my family. And when I say family, you know, I mean the supporters and the listeners and the music and the consumers. Um, it was more about me and the family and me just, uh, you know, building with them, not because, you know, maybe your other favorite artist was on my project or I didn't want it to be about that. I wanted it to be strictly about me and the, and the music that, you know, I was putting out. Yeah, well, you know, I, I just want to kind of walk through the album here, if you don't mind. We're not going to take too much time, but just walk through the album. Uh, before we dive too deep, uh, Jules, she was like, you know what, I just want to ask him because there's, uh, he seems like he's dropping some messages up in there. Yeah, yeah, no, there's messages, and I know at the beginning of the album, you're talking about this girl, but you say she's yours, but then you say she's not much of a thing. What does that mean? What do you mean? You, you say... You she say, wasn't much, but she was mine. Yes, that's what she said, yeah. She was a square. Mm. She was a square. She was a square. I have no problem with a square. Okay, <laughs> and then at the... Okay, I don't know if this is the same girl, but at the end, toward the end of the, of the album, you say um, that girl had three abortions. Was it the same girl or... The oh, no, 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 no. The narrative, uh, the story that's on the narrative um, is like, is is pretty much... With the When it comes to the girl, it's like pretty much, you know... That song and you know mm -hmm. the narrative is a little bit different yeah, yeah. from each other. Two different times in my life, um, but nah. I mean, it, it, when I like when I say like she wasn't much and she was, but she was mine. I mean like, you know, sometimes you need a regular girl because my life is too hectic. So, mm -hmm. you know, she wasn't like a supermodel, mm. yeah, but she was mine. Mm. You know? Okay, okay. What about now? Are are you single? Yeah, I'm single. Single, okay. Hey, look at she's smiling now. Hold on. Just wondering, just wondering. <laughs> All right, so, you know, it's in, like you just said, she's not much, but she's mine. It's kind of like, you know, you ain't got the best ride, but when you keep it clean, <laughs> she's favorite riding a lot. Favorite riding a lot. Uh, so going back, through, going back through the album, man, uh, even off top, track number one is going to grab you, man. I like the way that, you know, you, you, you're doing all these different types of genres, doing what you're known for, uh, the way to connect with different people on different levels. But uh, one, one, one record, um, well, I mean, well, there's Friends with Benefits, and I'm going to ask you right quick. This is going to be kind of fun. We're not going too deep. Uh, do you have any rules and regulations? I got my rules and regulations to Friends with Benefits. Like one is, hey, man, if you, if you kind of see us in public, you, you cannot be clingy. What's yeah. some other rules? Like, give me two more rules of engagement here if you got a friend with benefits. I don't want you to be clingy, period. Mm. To be honest with you, I mean, like, we not there yet. That's why we friends with benefits. Right, 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 right. Um, for me, like, I don't know. I guess my only rules is just, like, you know, just, just you know, keep this here and keep that there. Like, you know, if we're still friends, we're still friends at the end of the day. If that just happened to be a mutual thing that happened between us two, then that's just is what it is. But... You know, it's just like you said, like in public, you, you know, we still are friends. And we're right. Not dating you. No, you know, because, you, but you know, sometimes that when you think you start off as friends and then you've seen it in the movies, you've seen it in TV shows, then all of a sudden kind of develops. And so they, they, women, it's, this is scientific. This is science here. I'm not making this up. <laughs> this is science. Here women start the catching feelings. They start catching feelings quicker than men. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I think it's like this, you know, at the end of the day, men, we think with, our, with the logical side of mm -hmm. our brain. And yeah. Women, they think with the more like passion inside of their brain, like they, we have a heart. you know, yeah, but what? More we a, have a heart. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, like they, 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 they have more of a conscious towards things, and I think men, we just logically think, well, if it's this way, then it should go this way. Yeah, okay. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, I mean, I, feel I, mean, I, yeah. I mean, I got rules. You have to sign almost a waiver. You've seen Fifty Shades of Gray. It's Fifty Shades of Brown when you step in the crib. <laughs> There's rules to this.